to Saturday Night Live. You know our wings will make you happy. To a late night appearance on Leno, giving Jay one of his best overall ratings of the year. If you think Donald Trump is everywhere, well, you're right. This morning, he's at the swanky Beverly Hills Hotel talking with me. Now, I've been warned that the Donald is the cranky this morning, running on just three hours of sleep. But he seems fine to me as we sit down to talk about his book. The book is doing better than me. I'm 71 I... and the book is one. So. The number 71 he refers to is from the Forbes 400 list. Donald is the 71st richest person in the world with a net worth of $2.5 billion. Now, Trump's a competitive guy. Would he like to be, say, number one? Well, you have a man in Seattle who's pretty tough to beat. Yeah, that's right. Right? Bill Gates is a great guy, yeah. and he's pretty tough to catch. But he is an amazing guy. According to Trump, Gates has succeeded the same way he has, by being a strong leader and surrounding himself with smart people. But when it comes to style, the two couldn't be more different. Bill Gates and the camera are like, well, oil and water. And for Trump, it's more like fire and oil. Nobody's bigger than me. He's bold, brash, and unapologetic. Be forewarned if you cross him. I don't really forget. And that's bad, but, you know, I have a very, very long and good memory. And when somebody does a number on me, I don't forget it. I have friends, they can be hurt by somebody. Right. And two days later, they're best friends. And I say, you know, if they do it once, they're going to do it again. If somebody does something bad to you once, they're going to do it again, because that's their personality. They're not going to change. Right. Dan Rather. Well, Dan Rather's a man of no talent and a man of no ratings. He put me on 60 Minutes once, and he was very, very nice prior to the shooting. And then all of a sudden, he became a different personality. I said, give me a break. Why don't you just be honest with me? But, you know, in the meantime, nobody watches him, so who cares? In his book, Donald Trump also lets loose on former New York Governor Mario Cuomo, calling him a stiff and a loser. Doctors get it, and so do even germs, saying germs are a form of negativism, and he doesn't need any of that. He just assumed not shake your hand. It's nothing personal. It's just a germ thing. He even writes a chapter about his hair. He says he can't understand the fascination, but in his words, the publishers were paying him a lot of money, so he figured, eh, what the hell. For Apprentice junkies, sadly, there's just a thin, quick chapter on The Apprentice. Donald admits that it's made a pop star of him. Everywhere he goes, people want him to fire them. And you'll never tire of your fired. I will never tire. Well, I, you know I'll Clara never Peller. Tire. You know who Clara Peller is? Yes. She was the old lady that said, where's the beef? Yes. Yeah. She said by the end, she felt like saying, <laughs> No, I don't think I'll tire of it because, you know, it's become, The Apprentice has become such a giant success. In You're fired, 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 fired. And this thing is a monster. And, you know, I'm very happy about it, so I can't really tire of that phrase. No. Keep up Donald Trump.